you some more about our Bosch remanufactured alternators. One of the things that's really critical in alternators, believe it or not, is the pulley. Several years ago on alternators, the pulley was just a common billet of steel or aluminum that was machined with grooves or a V-bill. Now, they have what's called clutch pulleys. These came out in the early 2000s. Clutch pulley means exactly what it says. Inside the, the pulley, there's actually a clutch mechanism consisting of bearings and springs. This is a cutaway view that shows you that there's actually something inside of there besides just metal. Now, the, the concept of a clutch pulley basically is twofold. One, to help the car get better fuel economy, and two, to make the car quieter. What happens in a situation when the alternator is running and you're doing 50 or 60 miles an hour running down the road, since the rotor inside the alternator has quite a bit of mass in there, probably a couple kilograms or more, the alternator wants to keep spinning in the direction that the engine is going. But as you slow down the car and you hit the brakes, the engine has to decelerate, and now the belt on the engine is fighting the alternator. So it creates more load on the engine, creates uh, inferior fuel economy. So what the engineers came up with is the concept of a clutch pulley, so that at that point, pulley, as they call it, it decouples. So that it becomes disconnected, let's say, to the, the belt, and the alternator can keep free spinning in the direction it was going while the this engine decelerates. At a certain point in time when the engine either picks up the speed or the alternator slows down and they match up, then the belt drives the alternator again. This way, there's no load on the engine, so it gets better fuel economy. And also, when that condition happens without a clutch pulley, the belt, the serpentine belt is very long, it starts to flap, and they call it belt flap. And the car operator can hear that. People spend a lot of money for cars, they want quieter cars, they don't want belt flap. So again, late model alternators come with a clutch pulley, and it's not just European cars, Asian, domestic, European, all the car manufacturers are using clutch pulleys. Now clutch pulley is different also, not only because it has a clutching mechanism, but how it connects to the alternator. On an old alternator, you just had a nut that went on with the washer and held the pulley on there. For a clutch pulley, you notice there's no nut. It has a splined surface in there, and the pulley itself actually screws onto the shaft of the alternator. And it takes special tools to actually screw one on or remove it. You have one tool that locks in the splines. You have another tool that goes in and it actually locks the rotor inside. Then you have to... Hold it all with a, a wrench, and then it takes excuse me, another wrench to actually unscrew it. Now, if you think of the placement on an alternator, of an alternator an engine, there's very few alternators that you can remove the clutch pulley while it's still on the car. So you still have the work of taking an alternator off to remove a clutch pulley. And then, if you're good enough to diagnose that it's just your clutch pulley that's a problem, you need to walk into a store and buy a clutch pulley. Over the counter, a clutch pulley will cost you between $40 and $60 just for a clutch pulley. At Bosch, when we remanufacture an alternator, if it came as original equipment with a clutch pulley on it, our specification says that the alternator gets replaced with a new OE quality clutch pulley. We don't remanufacture and we don't reuse any clutch pulleys. It's always a new clutch pulley. So when you buy the alternator, we're saving you that cost of $40 or $60 over a counter and all the labor of trying to install it, remove it and install it, and all the special tools required. So again, we're going to provide you a high-quality alternator with a clutch pulley that should last as long as the original one did. As I said before, at Bosch, it's invented for life. It's what's inside the box that counts.